Thank you for your interest in Robert's testing equipment. We would like to show you some of the unique and outstanding features of the Robert's portable test machine. The portable test machine consists of a frame, a cylinder, a hydraulic power unit, an electronic load cell, and a wire rope grip. The frame is 20 feet in length. It is built to be portable. It is clear on the underside, easily picked up by forklifts. D-rings have been installed so that it is easily picked up and transported by cranes. The hydraulic cylinder develops 100,000 pounds of force. This force is transferred through the electronic load cell, which sends electric signals to the digital indicator. The wire rope grips are used for the length adjustment on the test bed. They allow a quick, easy adjustment method for different lengths of slings. The load binder on the handle of the grip is loosened, which releases the grip's hold on the wire. At this point, the wire may be moved to the proper position. The load binder is then closed, exerting tension on the handle, which moves the wedges in to grip the wire rope. Please refer to the video on wire rope grips for the complete operation of the wire rope grip. By using a wire rope grip as the length adjustment mechanism, it allows us to test long wire slings in the field. The portable test machine will test approximately 16 feet from the grip to the pin of the cylinder. This allows the testing of slings 30 feet long in the field by testing one end and then turning the sling around and testing the other end. This will test the entire sling. Maximum sling size, one and one half inch by 30 feet long with a one and one half inch grip. With a two inch grip, the largest sling that may be tested is one and three quarter inches by 30 feet long. The foundation of this system is the hydraulic power unit. This allows us to control the hydraulics at small increments with a constant, steady flow of hydraulic fluid to the cylinder. The hydraulic power unit has very sophisticated and accurate pumps and valves for the purpose of adjusting the test load required. It consists of an on-off switch with a green lamp, start with a green lamp, emergency stop, and a test neutral release twist detent switch. There is a remote control switch on a 20-foot pendant. This allows you to operate the cylinder at the test machine while installing an item into the test bed. A PSI hydraulic gauge is supplied as a reference instrument only. On this type of machine, hydraulic pressure is not an accurate way of measuring force. The independent load measuring system consists of an electronic load cell and a digital indicator. The load cell allows this unit to calibrate to ASTM E-4 plus or minus 1%, traceable to the National Institute of Standards and Technology. The digital indicator. When the on-off switch is turned to on, the digital indicator is turned on. It will automatically go through calibration and zero for its warm-up. When there is no signal going to the indicator, it will automatically recalibrate itself. When dashes appear in the window, you will know that it is automatically recalibrating and re-zeroing. When all zeros appear in the digital display panel, the instrument is ready to be used. Select the desired range and note that the light will turn on by the selected range. To change range, press the test and down buttons at the same time. Note that the light tells you which range you are on. Check that the indicator is on track or TK mode. Track is the live channel and high point is the peak channel. The up button moves the indicator into the peak or high point mode. Press the up button and hold. 
high point appears. Release the up button and the peak of the last load is displayed. Press the down button. This will clear the last peak load. Press the up button a second time and return to track mode. Perform test in the track mode. Threshold. This unit has an automatic reset for the peak hold system. When the load from the last test drops to zero and then rises above the preset number, the last peak is erased from memory and a new peak is started. The threshold light will come on when the unit has crossed the preset number. Check the test number. Press the test button and hold. The test number, which is the calibration factor for that range, will appear in the window. Check that it is correct. Release the test button. Reboot. Press the up and down button at the same time. Hold and release. The indicator will read lockout and will automatically recalibrate and re-zero. Startup. Check the pressure before turning on the hydraulic power unit. Turn pressure adjusting valve counterclockwise to ensure low pressure before startup. Check that the selector valve is in the neutral position. Press the start button. The hydraulic power unit is on. As you can see with the short sling to be tested, the open socket and wire is extended to the necessary length. To change the test machine to test a long sling is very simple. Open the wire rope grip handles, pull the wire back to the proper position, and close the handle. Perform the test in normal fashion. The load cell is designed to be removed from the test machine and used as a portable load cell. First disconnect the yellow nylon accordion spring from its fittings. Remove all nuts and bolts. Remove the plate on the clevis of the load cell. Remove the load cell from the cylinder by taking the pin out. Install oblong links. Be sure to use the carter pins that are installed on the back side of the pins. Install the load cell onto the crane. Use the tear function to tear the weight of the rigging to zero. This measures the actual force. The indicator will then show the weight of the object, excluding the weight of the rigging. 75 feet of load cell cable allows you good maneuverability for testing items in the field. Thank you for allowing us to present this short overview of the Roberts 100,000 pound portable test machine. Our products are designed and engineered with the safety-conscious, cost-efficient, and time-saving rigging shop in mind.